Miguel? I don't like this. Miguel? Where are you? Oh no. <sighs> Miguel? Miguel? Every part of the world seems to have its own mythical, forest-dwelling, bipedal creature. Around here, it's known as the Sisamite, the guardian of the forest. Described as large and ape-like, it's rumored to kill male humans on sight, but takes the females to its cave for mating purposes. Miguel?
That's part of the wreckage. Jonah! you killed. Hey, do you know what happened to Miguel? He didn't make it. <sighs> What's wrong with your arm? Ah, some sort of parasite. I was looking for some wormwood, but it doesn't grow around here. Let me see. Oh, hey, what are you doing? If we leave it in there, it'll only get worse. Sit. Sure you know what you're doing? Uh, <laughs> I had something similar happen to me when I was a child in Egypt. I won't lie, it's gonna hurt. You think that storm from earlier was the storm? The one from the mural? I don't know. Uh, uh, I think maybe we should stop and take stock. We've been pushing so hard forward. <laughs> Flying into that storm. I didn't think it was going to be that bad. I... Well, I should have insisted we turn back. I mean, I get it. You lock onto a problem and everything else just disappears. <laughs> Jonah. I... Hey. I'm with you. It's my choice. Most of the time. But if we die, who stops the cataclysms? Who keeps Trinity from doing what they want? Sometimes I feel like I have to keep going, and if I don't, then I'll just let everyone down. But maybe for the sake of a few hours, we could have turned back. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 
Maybe we should give him a name. Okay. Eli? No, my cousin. He's always trying to get under my skin. <laughs> Goodbye, Eli. Thanks. We should go. If we can find Kawakyaku, we can rest for the night. Sounds good. I think we can see the village through the vines over there. I'm glad you stayed at the crash site. We can get through here. Give me a hand. <laughs> Be quack, Yaku. We have to get down there. You sure this is a path? Come on. Stay close to me. This is definitely not a path. <sighs> oh. Oh! God. Almost there. Almost there. Heard that before. <sighs> Oh, gotcha. You right? I'm okay. Just a couple more steps. Okay. Okay. You're all right. I, I, I'm okay. I'm okay. What do you think built all this? It could have been the Inca. They knew a lot about hydraulics. figure out what this means. I hope the bridge is down. Maybe we can lift it with those counter -wipes. Maybe. Cinnabar was used in the ancient past for producing a bright orange pigmentation on ceramics, murals, tattoos, and in religious ceremonies. This water is drinkable. <laughs> you want to try it? Uh, I think... They'll stick to the bottles you found in the cargo from the plane. It's too heavy. Give me a hand. Let it go, slowly. The canopa serves as a receptacle for offerings of cocoa and animal tallow. The stuffed canopa is thrown into the farmer's field at the start of the harvest season as a gift for Pachamama, the mother god. It is said, if the present is accepted, the farmer will yield large crops in a successful breeding season. Hey, that did something. I think the water powers the bridge somehow. You know, if I had known how much time I'd spend in the wilderness, I'd... I'd have... Need to get the water flowing to the bucket. What about you? <laughs> Ever do Girl Scouts or Nature Camp as a kid? Mm, does boarding school count? <laughs> I don't know. Does it? <laughs> Probably not. 
But Roth showed me some things. I always prefer the company of adults anyway. I'm the same. <sighs> me too. The water's filling the bucket. Good. Let's see what those counterweights do. to get the water flow into the bucket. <sighs> Need to get the water flow into the bucket. I think I saw a rope pull on the bridge. to get the water flowing to the bucket. Me too.
Guess we go through here. After you. What's that? I think it's some sort of stealer or... Help me with this. Sure. What is it? It's a recipe. Seems to be a mixture of herbs. It could help if we run into any more jaguars. <laughs> Let's hope we don't. Way out is over here. We're getting closer to the village. I can't wait to get back to civilization. <clears throat> These are different from the ruins in Mexico. <clears throat> Do your dad's notebook say anything about Peru? No. I mean, there is supposed to be a secret city of gold in Peru. Paititi. Every treasure hunter on Earth is looking for it. But Dad's notes stop in Mexico. Like he lost interest, or... Or? I don't know. The next volume picks up in Syria. A passageway. That's promising. It's such a relief to have Jonah back. Especially after Miguel. At least Jonah didn't ask what happened. The Jaguars. I don't want him to worry. We have to stay sharp if we're gonna get ahead of Trinity. I think we can get out that way. Jonah, help me with this. On three, two, one.
Laura, are you okay? Are you okay? Help me with this. Your back looks bad. I'm gonna go make camp. Let me take a look at that. It's not pretty. <laughs> you know, with everything we've been through recently, I've been thinking about my brother. I always try to protect him from my father, from himself, but I lost him. You did everything you could. If I had been in the right place, at the right time, he would still be here. If I had eyes in the back of my head. You can't protect everyone. Thank you. I miss him. I know. My parents. I miss them too. I had a dream about my mother recently. Yeah? Mm-hmm. It was so vivid. <laughs> when I was little, my father used to keep things from me. Hide things. About her, especially. Why would he do that? After she died, he thought they'd cause me pain. It didn't stop me from looking for them, of course. <laughs> So many questions. Your dad created as many mysteries as he solved. Dominguez said that he would use the silver box of Ischel to remake the world. If you had that power, what would you do? <laughs> Panic, probably. You wouldn't go back to when your brother was alive and be with him again. Um, I lose everything else. No way. I like this world. It's it's not perfect, but everything I love now is in it. treasure, the adventurer Lara Croft must outwit the king, reach the forbidden tomb, and solve the mystery of the White Queen. The way will be fraught with trials. Lara, are you doing your math homework? 
The adventurer should not dally any longer. In a minute, Dad! The high walls of the castle beckon, taunting. Looks like there's something up there in the crow's nest. I'll have to do better. Lara climbs out over a lake of bubbling lava. Strange beasts cross our hero's path. Hard to tell if they're bloodthirsty. Now for the real treasure in the forbidden tomb. Our hero must be quiet to avoid alerting the king. What does Lara have to do with any of this? She's in her room doing her homework. She hasn't much time. <sighs> the King's Guard will never expect Crop to climb the castle. Tower is taller than she thought. <sighs> Our hero continues climbing, looking for another way in. Hero spies another entrance. Shoo, go on. <laughs> Young Lara confronts the extraordinary height and danger and pushes it from her mind. <laughs> to the Forbidden Tomb. These parapets are damaged. She'll have to squeeze through. She's so close, she can almost touch it, but an invisible force field stands in her way. There must be another entrance. She will have to be careful. Why do I do these stupid things?
at last, she enters the forbidden tomb. By night, the great bat stole the queen at 30 north and 90 east. From her pen, she wrote her heart. With light, unlock her love's release. I wonder if the white queen is lonely? This enigmatic illustration recovered from a cursed and empty mausoleum might be what our brave adventurer needs to finally find the lost... Ugh. The note said 90 degrees east and 30 north. The coordinates might have something to do with the mid 14th century barding. Germanic, I think. I can't imagine how heavy those bardings were. Those poor horses. This enigmatic illustration Unlock her love's release. It worked. This is an old game. Two shields and a white crown. Could that be the white queen? Need to find the white queen. Croft has entered the forbidden mezzanine. Need to find the White Queen. A baby Tyrannosaurus Rex. I wonder if a Yatiri, a South American healer. Need to find the White Queen. I haven't seen some of these artifacts before. An ossuary. This box contains the bones of the dead. I can't read the inscription. The great bat swings on the bar. The death mask of Agamemnon. This enigmatic illustration rec found in Mycenae.
knight's shield reflects the light beam. Yatiri, a South American healer. Have to free the White Queen. I just wanted to thank you for your discretion, as well as the work you have done. The vault has been constructed exactly to my specifications. The final payment will be sent at the end of the week. The delay was due to an accounting error, which has now been rectified. Yours, Richard Croft. This enigmatic illustration recovered from a cursed and empty mausoleum. It has taken our hero years to piece the
head of King David. From a shepherd to a king, imagine that. A quotation from Chaucer. What is better than wisdom? Woman. What is better than a good woman? Nothing. Mid 14th century barding. Germanic, I think. I can't imagine how heavy those bardings were. Those poor horses. I bet the poor thing could hardly see out of that chanfron. The Sun King, Louis XIV, married Maria Theresa, ending a long-standing war between France and Spain. With light, unlock her love's release. Amazing. Her heart pounding, our hero crosses the threshold into the unknown. These are mum's things. The path was dark and is guarded by bats, said the Red Knight. The White Queen regarded him with a curious smile and said, Bats! I'm not afraid of bats! I'm not afraid of anything! Tell me about this. You and me are riding a T-Rex in Egypt. Where's Daddy? At work. childhood because you're always in some tomb on the other side of the world. Why can't you be happy with what you have? Morning. 
So, uh, Silver Crown Mountain? Yeah. There's a road. Let's check it out. What's going on? Shit, Trinity, get down. Damn. Got stuck. I can see that. What are we doing about Follow my lead. How am I supposed to help? What are you doing? Get back. Hide. You're the logistics guy, aren't you? I'm not the one who go onto a bottom bridge. Oh, hold up! I got him! Hold on, the friendlies. Keep your eyes Someone open. should check back there. Yeah, I'll do it. Put her right there. Make sure nothing can get through. I want this whole area sealed off. Yes, sir! If there's anything here, we're gonna find it. the last time this thing was serviced. This is rusty. Don't get distracted, Mendez. What are we looking for here? Anything that moves. Anything that doesn't. They still didn't find that relic. I'd love to be the guy that does. I mean, why not? Be a hero. I'll be dead, more likely. No thanks. I'll keep sitting here looking for hostiles. Less talking, more looking, gentlemen. Get off your asses. Yes, sir. Laura. Clear. It's quiet. What's your team doing? I'll check. We're not paying them to sightsee. We'll have to go under. Yeah. We know there's an main temple. What we're looking for is any smaller ruins right. you might have missed before. Okay. It's really wet in there. I'm afraid if we move it, we'll lose it. We're gonna have to reinforce the bridge. Race against it. Why didn't you test the bridge like I told you? Oh, I'm pretty sure we did test the bridge first. Fuck off. I'm not covering for you. Maybe we can pull it out. Okay, maybe. Let me think about that. We can take them. Right. Uh. 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 
go left. I'll take these guys. What in God? Fight. Hey, Sammy. Guys, I told them to test the bridge first. Son of a... Dave! Dave! Sammy! No, you don't! Fuck you! Stop! Thanks. You okay? Yeah. Take this. I hope that's the last of them. She lost friends. Her family lost their business. But after that, she could feel things coming. Volcanic eruptions, storms, other things. That did it.
Come on, let's go. Any idea what the queens in that room are? Could be anything. A pair of monuments or mountains or streams. I suppose we'll know it when we see it. Yeah. I see people down there. Hope they're friendly. I'll let you do the talking. Hi. Do you know if there's a place nearby we can stay for the night? How'd you get so deep into the jungle? Did you lose your tour group or something? <sighs> no. There were some guys here before, looking for artifacts. You with them? Trinity. Definitely not. Uh, I need a break anyway. Come with me. Oh. I'm sorry to ask so many questions, but the only B&B in town is my place. Well, you can't be too careful. By the way, I'm Jonah. Abby. Lara. Come in, have a seat. Carlos, three. <sighs> so, what are you here for exactly? Well, we were following the riddle when our plane went down. You mean it crashed? Yeah. <laughs> and you just walked out of the crash? Uh, well, you know, it was cruising pretty low. We are looking for Maya ruins. Maya, you know you're in Peru, right? <laughs> yeah, a long story. Oh. Thanks. Well, you don't seem like a typical archaeologist. Oh, she's the archaeologist. I'm, I'm just a cook. Really? Yeah. Have you tried any of our local ceviche yet? It's a specialty. <laughs> Not unless it grows in the jungle. No. <laughs> Don't tell me you missed our famous fish trees. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you take this? Um, Mexico. Why? No, oh, I've seen this symbol before. Wow. There's some ruins nearby, and a small rock with something like this carved on it. Do you mind if I take a look around? Yeah. Be my guest, but I guarantee they're not Mayan. My people were Inca and proud of it. Uh, uh, why don't you rest for a while? Are you sure? I promised you a day off. Well, I'm not gonna say no to that. Have fun. You too. 